I'm in Eclectic, Alabama, to tell you a story I saw on Dateline about a, a potential murder, suicide, or double murder, depending on who's guilty. This is Jesse Michael Holton, June 3rd, 1979 to September 11th, 2016. April, Diane Holton, December 24th, 1978, September 12th, 2016, one day after him. She was the wind beneath our wings, holding. Michael, April, Madison, Kyle, Hayden. So what happened here is Michael and April were getting divorced in the summer of 2016 and they had separated, but their son Madison had thrown a huge party that he shouldn't have thrown at the house and caused a big ruckus. And so Michael got in touch with April and they were confronting their son about the party. Apparently, I guess the dad put handcuffs on him and to scare him or whatever and the police were called you know it was a big commotion police were over there trying to they tried to get the police to come over to uh scare their sons kind of kind of scare him straight anyway after the police left sometime within 11 minutes the police got called back after a shooting so there was a shooting at the April was killed. She was shot and she, had, she would hold her hands up, shot in the hand in the face, and she lived for another day. And the dad, Michael, had a gunshot to the back of his head. So, you know, it, uh, they first, they suspected the son, Madison, of doing it, and they arrested him and charged him with the murder of his mom and his dad. And there's a lot of holes in it. Uh, he was technically handcuffed when this all occurred. He said he ran down to the neighbor's house and wasn't there when the gunshots were happening and didn't hear the gunshots. Um, but it's a little weird because his dad was shot in the back of the head and it would have had to have been done with his left hand. He was a right-handed man. So, so it's real suspect. But they wound up dropping the charges against... Madison because you know there's just a there was some reasonable doubt there I guess and uh, anyway real weird story I, I find it hard to believe that the man shot himself in the back of the head I guess it would be technically possible but he shot himself in the back of the head commit suicide um, the Dateline show really just kind of focuses on the mother really and not much about the dad and he, you know, very likely was a murder victim himself. Um, so who knows? Uh, there is, like I said, there is some reasonable doubt and you don't know for sure. And this is a very small town. Uh, Michael here, Michael Holden, Holton was the police chief or no, fire chief and mayor here at one time. So obviously these were, they were, but they were getting divorced that summer and you know, things weren't good between them. So they weren't doing very well. And he, she was already dating somebody and living somewhere else. So like I said, there is some reasonable doubt that it's a reasonable suspicion that, you know, he could have hurt his wife and himself. But again, don't see how you do you shoot yourself in the back of the head. Anyway, so that's the story. Uh, like I said, this is a small town here, Eclectic, Alabama. Uh, so it's kind of weird seeing it on Dateline. <laughs> uh, but it's pretty close to where I live, and I thought I'd come pay my respects uh, and tell you the story. So make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Uh, comment below, let me know what you think. And remember, not all those who wonder are lost. Thanks for watching.